Hello, everyone. I'm Dennis Hahn, a storage analyst working for Omdia, doing research into cloud storage and data management. As we enter into 2024, I want to discuss Omdia's trends to watch for storage. We chose these trends not based on them being emerging trends, which there are dozens of those, but trends that we thought would strongly influence the data center in the next year. The first trend to talk to discuss is primary storage with built in ransomware protection. Embedding ransomware recoveries into into storage and storage arrays is a capability that has come about quickly within data centers. They it, they basically allow it basically allows you to bring back the data that ransomware has corrupted or destroyed from an attack. Another important capability storage arrays are starting to adopt is being able to actually watch the data being stored and detect an attack going on and shut down the environment uh, early before the attack can do much damage. So as you consider you know, data protection capabilities for 2024, you might consider how primary storage can be layered along with your backups within your data centers to protect your storage against ransomware attacks. The second trend I want to discuss is on-premise storage as a service. On-premise storage is kind of been an ongoing major shift within data centers in the way storage on-premise is paid for and managed. Uh, it basically delivers two things. It delivers a kind of pay as you go or pay for what you use kind of approach to buying your storage, and it moves it from being a capital expense to an operating expense. The other thing that, that on-premise storage as a service does is it allows vendors to manage your infrastructure for you based on a spectrum of capabilities that uh, can be discussed. So bottom line is kind of on-premise storage as a service kind of provides or starts to provide the same business proposition on-premise that you can find in public cloud. So when you go to purchase your storage in 2024, you might consider where you want to then run your application or workload, either on-premise or in the cloud, based on these new business proposition capabilities. The third trend to watch I want to discuss is sustainability in green data center solutions. Data operators are continuously trying to improve it on data centers sustainability. And it appears like storage is now being recognized as an area that needs improvement. Uh, we recently did a survey earlier this year uh, with uh, basic uh, with respondents out of northern northwestern Europe on their desire to improve their sustainability, and they mentioned data center storage as something. They're still in the early stages. They're start trying to identify um, uh, tools that can be used to kind of measure the size of the problem and move at it that way. The other interesting thing that, that is just really an emerging trend is actually managing the data waste within your data estate environment. So a lot of the data that goes in a, in a data center is unused data, and this data could potentially be removed or dealt with in a different way to have uh, less of a impact on the data center from a sustainability standpoint. So. You know, we need, we need to start considering storage in the overall sustainability for data centers. The fourth very important one is the idea that clever storage systems are going to start using QLC based SSD within data centers. Really driven by the need to process the massive amounts of data and come through that data to create training data sets for AI. Uh, the operators are really looking for better ways to classify, clean, and extract the features from the stored data so that it can be put into data sets and processed. QLC plays really well into that in creating higher performing data pipelines that can be interacted with um, to, to actually process this type of data quickly and easily. Um, so, you know, I would suggest that data center operators get familiar with the new technologies in this space, like the QLC SSD. You know, also, of course, high performance file systems, which dovetail into the QLC usage, and even in process in storage data processing techniques to possibly help classify your data. 
the management of this data pipeline uh, to create these data sets within storage is going to be a major trend in 2024. That does it for our trends to watch in 2024 from Omdia.